Hi everyone, welcome back. So I'm going to be filming a new video today uh, for you guys to do just your base and how that would look. So today I'm going to be using a couple different products than I did last time. So I'm going to start off with uh, this one from Milk Cosmetics and it's a cooling stick for under your eyes. If you're like me, you struggle with puffiness. So I'm just going to put that on under there and on top. It doesn't leave any kind of residue, which is really nice. And it doesn't leave any kind of coloring, even though the product's blue. Cool beans. So then we're going to go into a primer. So today I'm using a sample from Tarte. It's called the Quench Hydrating Primer. I struggle with dry skin, so it's really good to try to use products that are designed for your skin type. I can do a review on oily, what my recommendations are for oily skin or for combination skin. Um, I still struggle with acne, so I can do one on acne products too. Um, so I have some product in my hand. And I'm just going to go all over. It's really important if you guys want to comment in um, the video about what you're looking for specifically. Like if you want to see um, smoky eyeshadow looks or if you want to see other types of looks, I'm more than happy to do that. They do take a little bit of time, so I apologize for smoky. Uh, I can also do a five minute, well, 10 minute face. Um, they would require me to talk a lot less. So I'm just gonna go in with my foundation. So as usual, I'm using my Fenty Beauty foundation in shade number 120. Again, you can get on Sephora. I'm a huge fan of it. So as usual, three pumps. I've used other foundations. I've used the um, Makeup Forever. I've used Maybelline. I've used a couple other guys. See, I have an acne breakout. Good times. So don't mind my hair. It's just end of the workday hair situation going on. So again, you're gonna look really pale to begin with. Well, I am really pale, so it doesn't really matter. I'm not putting any um, peach primer underneath my eyes today like I usually do, because I don't feel like I really need it. I had a pretty good sleep, and between concealer and foundation, I feel pretty confident that it'll cover up any concerns I have. Plus I had, you know, caffeine, which helps. So I'll go under my eye. Again, you want to make sure you're stippling and not not stroking because it's going to leave streakiness. Cool. Next, I'm going to go in with my concealer. Um, I'm going to be using a different one than I normally I usually use shape tape. I apologize. I'm trying to get through my makeup in. On makeup, sorry. I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay um, All Nighter Skin um, by well, Urban Decay, and this is in shade Fair, ne Fair Neutral. So I'm just gonna use a bit of that. Again, I don't feel like I need a ton of concealer today. I feel pretty good. Just put a little on that acne spot and around my nose. I'm gonna blend it out again using a beauty blender. You can ask for for $26. If you're looking for a more affordable one, I really recommend the Real Techniques. Beauty, beauty sponges, I think they're $12 for two, or the Jeffree Star Morphe Cosmetic Sponge, which is $16 for three. You can get a Morphe or you can get it at Sephora. I wish this was a paid advertisement. Maybe one day. Not above freebies. Mother's Day's weekend's coming up. Shout out to all the moms or the dads who are having to do both roles. Um, I asked my husband for Mother's Day just to let me sleep in. He said, if you get me nothing else, just let me sleep in and I'd be happy with that. So I'm going to go in now with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. And I'm going to use the light shade 
blush. I don't remember the name of the shade color, but it's this one here. So I'm just going to go in with a Jeffree Star Cosmetics Morphe Club and JS2 brush. And I'm just going to take a bit of that white powder and set my concealer. I find if you don't set your concealer, what ends up happening is it gets really uh, crease, crease like. And again, like I said before in my other video that I used to do a full face makeup for a 12 hour shift at my old job. And then I would go out partying and my makeup never budged. I never had to reapply it. So these are tried and true and it was sweat proof. Now I'm going to take some of this banana shade. It's actually called banana. I'm just going to go under my eyes, set it. See? Fake a full night's sleep. You know I had a good sleep. And cool. Now I want to go in with a contour brush. Contour brush. So this one is by Tarte. It's the Pineapple Collection. Sephora or Tarte, your choice. And I'm just going to go in with this shade here for contouring because if you use a really warm tone for contouring, you're going to end up looking orange and you don't want that for contouring because you're trying to mimic shadows. Sometimes I use my Rihanna contour stick, which I usually use a lot, but for a quick face, I'm not going to use it today because it requires a lot of blending. I'll just use powder. And you just want to go in the hollows of your cheeks. And your hairline. And again, like I said before, if you find that you've gone too heavy like I did, you just take your beauty blender and you just buff it out. Mmm, looking snatched. And then I'm going to go up my jawline and contour down. And I'm just going to squeeze the brush together a little bit. And I'm just going to go down my nose. It gives you the, the illusion of it looking slim. Taking that beauty sponge. Just want to blend it out. Quick contour. Next product that I want to go in with. I'm gonna use a blush. Um, just give me one second. Okay, sorry about that. I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced uh, Christmas Dream Palette and I'm gonna be using the shade Daydreamer, which I've used before. I have a Morphe um, I have blush palette, but I'm not sure where it is at the second. So I'm just gonna go in with the shade here. Tap off the excess. It smells like gingerbread, by the way. Oh yeah, the lighting in here is so much better than my last video. So if anyone's wondering what um, I'm using for light, it's called UB Size, and my husband got it for me. And it just makes the lighting look a lot better. Again, you're gonna blend into the hairline. So I have a round face, so I really like to try to make it look a bit slimmer. If you use too much blush, because this is really pigmented, just use your blender and just blend it out a bit. Don't have eyebrows on, that'll be, um, another step I'll have to do. So I'll do, I'm not very like organized, if you can't tell. I don't feel very organized. I decided to do this video last minute just because my husband is out with the baby. I have a two year old daughter, she'll be three. Um, her name's River, she's pretty great. So next eyeshadow uh, product I'm going to use is by Urban Decay and it is called uh, Eyeshadow Primer Potion in the original formula. And you just put a bit on your eyes. This just helps prevent your eyeshadow from creasing. This makeup look would be really great for people if you don't have to worry about eyebrows. 
Like if you have naturally thick eyebrows, I'm envious because I lost mine in the 90s from over plucking. So you just take your finger, tap the product into your eyes. Good to roll. So sometimes I use Max Painter Pot and Painterly, but for this look I didn't. Um, what eyeshadow palette do I want to wear today? I think I will use, sorry, one second. I'm going to be using the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette today. It's one of my favorites for pinks or neutrals. As you can see, it's very well loved. Huge fan of this one shade. It's called glucose and it's a really pigmented white shade you can you'll see in a minute for doing eyeshadows so we use my jeffree star cosmetics brush in js6 for packing on the the white the white see pigmented as fuck i apologize ahead of time if any actually after the fact if anyone has any kids watching this i tend to swear a lot see look at the difference like and the reason why I do white is because it gives you a blank canvas to work from. And I tend to have really blue um, undertones in my eyes, on my eyelids. Just gonna put that on. Cool. Now I have white as a base. So last time I did a really neutral look. This time I want to kind of bring up the funk a little bit. So I'm actually going to go in with this shade here called Cavity. Same brush. And I'm just gonna take this little, just pack it on a little bit. Do, do, do. And I'm just gonna go here and do a sweepy motion. Don't be intimidated by colors. A lot of people don't wear colors because they're like, I don't know how to wear them, or they're worried that it's gonna look like a claw makeup. So I'm doing what's called a halo eyes. So, so where you put the color on the inside and the outside and you leave the center blank because we'll put a, a shimmery color in there in a minute. And you're just gonna blend it out. And the reason why I'm doing this is to be honest because I like makeup. I do a lot of makeup looks um, on Instagram. Which, again, you can follow me is diosot.dorijo. Um, you can check out my page. I post memes, pictures of my daughter, things I'm doing, but I'm actually also post makeup. So we're just going to do the same to the other side. And I wish more people played with like shadow colors. And I recognize I'm wearing a bright cobalt blue top and pink eyeshadow, but that's okay. So I'm gonna go back in with this white and I'm just gonna dab it and I'm just gonna blend out that pink line just cause I don't want a harsh line. It's a bit softer. And then to darken my look up a little bit, I'm actually gonna go in with a really bright color. It's called Root Canal. It's this purple here. Just dab it a little bit and I'm just going to go into the, the corner here and I'm just going to blend down and across. Again, not trying to make a purple eye, just trying to make the pink eye a bit more smoky. Into the corner, look back in with the other one. This looks really good paired with um, a black eyeliner. So you can do like one or two looks. You can use a pencil or you can use a liquid. I'm probably gonna end up using a liquid. Let's be real here. Cool, so then I'm gonna go in, same palette. So then I'm gonna go in with a darker color and I'm just gonna do like under my eye. And I'm probably gonna end up using the color Coma, which is the very last color here. It's a very dark, dark, dark purple. And actually I don't know if you can see it, but it has a medical stamp in the palette pan. 
I'm just gonna go under my eye. Same brush. Just to smoke it out a little bit. I'm going for more of a dramatic look today. Yeah, yeah, I vibe. Take a bit of that white. Puff, puff it out. Again, the white shade's called glucose. I'm not gonna add a ton of color just because I really want the pink in, to shine. So other than that, I'm going to go in one of my favorite eyeliners. So it's pretty small now because it's been used a lot. Uh, it's the Marc Jacobs um, pencil eyeliner. And uh, let me see if I have the shade name on here. It's a highlighter gel crayon in shade black. Go figure. Shade black. So I'm just gonna lift up my eye. And this is called tight lining. Gives you the illusion of having a thicker lash line. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go into the waterline. This is my favorite pencil because it really stays in the waterline. So you could do this, throw on some mascara and call it a day. But I don't want to. I want to throw on some liquid eyeliner. And I've got my OG. I've got my Kat Von D tattoo liner in Shade Trooper. Um, another really interesting one that I got recently was by C8, Kate, C-I-A-T-E, it's sold as Sephora. Um, uh, it's a liquid eyeliner called Starstruck. I haven't tried it yet, brand new. I will review it. And I'm just going to use a mirror actually, because it's really difficult for me to try and do it otherwise. I might actually have a small mirror to use today, guys, so I'm using like a big honk and one. I'll just use my uh, Jeffree Star one. And I'll just do my eyeliner this way. So I'm not doing a big line, just gonna do a little one today. See, super small. Same for the other side. Okay, I'm gonna throw on some mascara. Not loving this bottom lash line right here for some reason. The eyeliner. Whatever. Mascara. So today I'm going to be using something else other than my benefit one. I'll use my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And I didn't curl my lashes in case you guys noticed. Don't. Don't you hate that? When you get a hair stuck and then it goes onto your blendedness. Fuck you, eyeliner. See? She's different. A lot of people are saying that the L'Oreal is a really good dupe for this one. I haven't tried it personally. If you're wondering why I'm breathing heavy, it's because I have really bad ragweed allergies and there's tons of ragweed growing in my yard right now. And I'm struggling. Everyone's like, you have COVID. I'm like, no, I don't. It's legit just the fact that I have allergies. See? 
this look might be a little bold for some people, but I'd wear this on like a Tuesday afternoon. It's a Friday afternoon now. As you can see, that's the makeup look. I'm just gonna take a smudger brush. Um, I don't know what brand this is. It came in my Ipsy box, so I apologize. And I'm just gonna add a bit of shine to the lid. So I'm just gonna use, oh, the, I'm gonna use a little bit of shine. I'm using the Jeffree Star Supreme Frost Wet Dream. It's a highlighter, but I'm using it for the center of my lids. Just to add a bit of glam. Feel weird with the eyebrows. And then I'm gonna take this fluffy brush and I'm just gonna put on some highlighter. You can wet your brush and it will um, make it look more intense. Like I said in my last video, I'm a huge fan of highlighter. So I really like to make it look like I'm from space. That's not everyone's jam. So I just do the tops of my cheeks, the sides. I do my nose and I do my lip. And that is, it's a little smudgy there, so I apologize. It's from my mascara, but this side looks really good. I wish I couldn't do fake lashes on the regular. Um, I'm really bad at them. <clears throat> I can do them, it's just they're not my favorite. Maybe one day I'll find a pair that says, take me home. Let me see for my lipstick. Mm, what color lipstick do I want to do? Last time I did a really new look. Um, I've done a couple other ones. I feel like I have to really kind of tone it down a little bit with this look because the eyes are so much. Or you could just be extra and just do all the lipstick colors. Um, all right, I'm gonna do this one. So it's from Kylie Cosmetics. It's called Exposed. It's like a warm brown. Mm. I like these ones because they smell like candy. Ooh, we're not doing a cat eye today. Maybe I'll feel better once I have eyebrows on. Oh, another really great highlighter I like, which I'll probably put on now anyways, is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy collection. And that one is it's really pretty looking. See, it's like wavy. And just a bit more highlight. You could not hurt anyone. Yes, queen. Yes. Okay, um, I'm going to save my brow tutorial for another day. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment. Otherwise, it's a, like almost a 25 minute video. Thank you for stepping up and watching me do my eyeshadow game and I appreciate it. Thank you guys.